Banjo Dreamy is the first fully complete Banjo Kazooie hack ever made. Now, Banjo Dreamy, it's a great game. I made a whole video on it if you're interested. My only gripe with it is that it was designed as some sort of Metroidvania type thing. This was a pretty cool idea and it works pretty well for the most part, except that Banjo has this issue where you can't take notes off of the world. Which means that often, since you can't complete a level in one run, you have to backtrack and get all the other notes in addition to the ones you just got access to. This can be quite frustrating considering notes were the main collectible. Now obviously innovation is cool, but I'll always prefer the original. Right now there only exists a demo for Banjo-Kazooie Returns, but considering the content of this demo, this is an attempt at a fully original Banjo-Kazooie ROM hack that's much closer to form, and I'm pretty fucking excited about it. I feel like Super Zambezi has been developing this game forever, probably because he has. I've been following this project on and off for years with the fear that it might get canned, but fortunately, as I said, a demo was released to honor the 20th anniversary of Banjo-Kazooie. Happy birthday! So, how does it look? Well, to be honest, this doesn't look so great. I lied, it's amazing. Now, this demo consists only of one level and an abridged hub world. But judging from the level design, I imagine this whole game will be very Banjo. It has that expansive feel about it without being too intimidating. It has all those awesome, neat little areas. You got this little house over here, this big tree stump here. I like this kind of level design. When you just have a big world with no real way of dividing it up in your head, that can just be confusing. This was something Rareware seemed to do well. They have huge worlds, but they're divided up into distinct smaller areas so you can work it out in your head. Often with newer, huger games, everything kind of just blurs together, and it can be tricky to map out in your head where exactly you should go, which is why so many games now have waypoints and markers. With this kind of distinct level design, however, that stuff isn't really necessary. I love how there's just a shock jump pad floating down on this leaf. That's cool. This whole level is cool. Check out this bridge here. Doesn't this remind you of this painting in Banjo's house? It's funny, a lot of people speculate that this painting is supposed to be the fabled fungus forest. In fact, this level uses unused music from Banjo-Kazooie that many people also believed was meant for fungus forest. On top of that, look at all these mushrooms, i.e. fungus. And is this level not a forest level? I guess this is the closest thing we'll ever get to fungus forest in Banjo-Kazooie. In any case, this is probably one of my most anticipated hacks, next to Mark Kirko's Jiggies of Time and Snoop Lax's Banjo-Kazooie in Mario 64, not to mention Mario 64 Majora's Mask crossover. It's nice to see Banjo-Kazooie ROM hacks are picking up speed. I imagine that making Banjo-Kazooie hacks is trickier than making Mario 64 hacks just because it's a more complicated game by design, which may explain why it doesn't seem as common aside from the fact that Mario 64 is just a more popular game in general. Banjo-Kazooie Returns looks very promising. Be sure to check out that demo.